And then for the next problem, we have a bell crank which is in equilibrium under the forces shown in the figure. Now it is supported by a 20mm diameter pin which is situated at D. And then it's indicated here that that pin is in double shear. And then we have to determine the required diameter of the connecting rod AB if its tensile working stress is 100 MPa. And so let's first consider this one. Now how can we solve this force? Remember that this is a hinge and so we have two external reactions for that. We have one vertical which we'll label as dy and then we have a horizontal reaction. Now we can solve P by summing up horizontal forces because we have an unknown. However, what we can do here is we can actually take moments about point D so that we will be able to eliminate these forces. And so doing that we have minus P times 200 because this will cause a counterclockwise rotation about D and then we need to add the moment cost by the 30 kN load. Now I forgot to write this down but this is 60 degrees and so we will first resolve this into components. Now we have a vertical component which is going downward and then we have a horizontal component going to the left and then this is 30 sine 60 and then this is 30 cos 60. However, this won't have a moment arm because the line of action of this force hits point D and so we will just consider this one and so that will be plus 30 sine 60 multiplied by the moment arm which is 240 mm and so that's equal to 0 and so solving P we have 30 sine 60 times 240 divided by 200 and so that will be 31.177 kn and so now we'll be able to solve letter a because we'll only be considering the tensile working stress which is 100 mpa now this is the perpendicular area and then that's just a circular area and so considering this one we have 100 mpa or newton per mm squared is equal to 31.177 divided by pi d squared over 4 however we still need to convert this into newtons and so let's multiply this by 1000 and so solving d we have 100 is equal to 31.177 times 1000 divided by pi over 4 times d squared and so we have 19.92 and so this is 19.92 millimeters this is our answer for a and then for letter b we need to find dx and dy and so to solve dx we can just sum up forces horizontal and so we have 31.177 which is going to the left so that's minus and then we have dx which is assumed to be going to the right so that will be plus and then minus 30 cos 60 which is the horizontal component of the 30k unload and then this is equal to 0 and so our dx will be 31.177 plus 30 cos 60 that will give us 46.177 and then for dy that's just equal to the vertical component of the 30k unload and so summing up forces along y dy will be equal to 30 sine 60 which is 25.98 kn and so this is 25.98 and then this is 46 0.177. Now, we have to remember that in solving for the shear stress, we will actually consider the resultant force of the reactions at D. And so we have this one. This is, let's say, RD. Now, since this just only forms a triangle, our RD will be the square root of dx squared plus dy squared. And so that will be 46.177 squared plus 25.98 squared. And so this is 52.98 kn and so for letter b we are to compute the shear stress in the pin which is tau is equal to force over area however since our section is in double shear due to this configuration our tau will become force divided by two times the area and so that will be 52.98 which is our resultant times 1000 divided by 2 times pi over 4 times d squared and then our diameter here is 20 millimeters because this is for the pin at D and so this will be 20 squared and so our shear stress will be 84.33 and then this is an MPA 